Uh, Brian, it's time for me to do a James commentary and get out the Clean Energy Show uh, defibrillator. Because I'm mad as hell. I had trouble sleeping last night. I had yeah. to have two cups of coffee. I never have two cups of coffee. Well, that's your first mistake right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I don't like the way it feels. <laughs> it's a little much for me. Uh, the federal New Democratic Party in Canada, that's the country where Brian and I live, if you're new to the show, they are a center-left party. And uh, they say, uh, this is a, one of their, uh, in, you know, their uh, energy critic has said, they're not in power, but their energy critic has said that it may be time to apply the same advertising, advertising restrictions to the oil industry as it did to uh, tobacco. You can't advertise tobacco since the 1990s, and you certainly can't make it seem like it's healthy. Uh, the NDP's federal natural resources critic, Charlie Angus, tabled a private member's bill that would ban misleading fossil fuel advertising. And this is from CBC. Uh, Angus said Canada's oil industry is shifting its propaganda strategy by promoting its products as clean and claiming they can be part of the climate solution. Are you sick of greenwashing ads from the oil industry? I mean, I come across them all the time. Yeah, sometimes they pop up in social media too, and and sometimes I report them because they just seem uh, that's often a lie. Way to go, Brian! Yeah, <laughs> the activist, the quiet activist here. Um, yeah, so they said, you know, Charlie Angus, the guy who proposed this bill, said that's like Benson and Hedges telling you that they can help end lung cancer. You know, which is yeah. true. It's a good analogy. This is because, he says, big oil has always relied on big tobacco playbook of delay and disinformation, which is so true. And I throw things at my TV and I can't afford a new TV and I get so angry when I yeah. see that crap on TV. Uh, the new bill would outlaw marketing that downplays the climate altering emissions and health hazards associated with the industry or promotes fossil fuels in ways that are false, misleading or deceptive, which is basically what they're doing. Uh, naturally, oil-rich Alberta took offense to this, and you can't say anything negative about the oil industry whatsoever, or they'll jump on you like a attack dog. Uh, Health Canada, Brian, estimates that air pollution caused primarily by burning fossil fuels in North America contributes to, get this, 15,300 premature deaths per year. That's just in Canada. Well, guess what? Our air goes around the world. It's not just Canada. But 15,300 pe people every goddamn year in Canada is uh, a result of this. The Canadian Association of Physicians for the Environment cites research that states fossil fuel air pollution in Canada leads to 34,000 premature deaths annually. annually. They claim path the Pathways Alliance, that's basically the people who are doing the most, that's the, <laughs> the fossil fuel lobbying industry group that puts out most of these ads, uh, they claim that those net zero ads in Canada were misleading because the consortium has not fully accounted for how it would achieve net zero emissions. Uh, quote, oil can never be net zero because 80% of the life cycle emissions are released when oil is burned. They're always saying, well, we're going to have cleaner oil. It's not going to be cleaner when it's burned. 80% of that oil, even if you get it to zero, is when it's burned. Yeah, well... Uh they're often talking about cleaning up their operations and, oh, our operations are, are getting cleaner, like we can extract the oil more cleanly. And that is technically possible, like if you have all electric equipment to extract the oil and that's all powered by clean energy, yeah, then your extraction can be net zero. But if it's bumping oil out of the ground, which is going to be burned, then, it, yeah, it's ridiculous. The UN says burning coal, oil, and gas accounts for 75% of global climate-altering emissions and 90% of all carbon dioxide emissions. The Canadian Fisheries Group said in a 2023 report, by normalizing fossil fuels, greenwashing delays the much-needed shift to more sustainable energy options. Now, here's where I take umbrage. Our own uh, center-left party in Saskatchewan, where we live, our province here, next to Alberta, they're not taking the federal approach. They are against this legislation. They've uh, co-signed a letter with the Alberta NDP, which are not true NDP people, and they've said that this is not good. They said... Uh, <laughs> they, I bet yeah. they had a good sleep, but they shouldn't have. The physicians group said this, 
Uh, instead of focusing on real emissions reductions like the science tells us we need to, fossil fuel companies have been crafting misleading tactics to continue exploiting fossil fuels, harming people and the planet with impunity and amassing enormous profits in the process. Eight million people die from smoking worldwide each year. Brian, the WHO says nearly 7 million die prematurely from pollution each year. So it's basically smoking. Uh, that doesn't take into account how many people die currently from fault you know climate change or in the future certainly it's going to be even worse yeah so in extreme we put, weather events yep what we put into the air today ain't going anywhere so it's not just what happens this year from your pollution it's what happens 30 years from now 50 years from now uh, between 2030 and 2050 climate change is expected to cause approximately a quarter million additional deaths per year in the world climate change alone that's just what they can predict right now and this is what our local NDP in Saskatchewan are supporting. Now, think of it as genocide against people who breathe. So this is what they said in the joint statement with the Alberta NDP. This is the Saskatchewan and Alberta NDP. Energy companies are important job creators in Alberta and Saskatchewan and shouldn't be singled out. That is not the criteria, being in a, a job creator. I mean, the tobacco industry gives good paying jobs. Should we support them? Do you want your children to watch ads about uh, the benefits of cigarettes? What about asbestos mining? I'm sure those jobs are great too. Where do you draw the line? I can only assume they place a cigarette, these people, in their children's lunch boxes each day because they don't give a damn about what their children breathe. It's almost as if the news of climate, the climate emergency hasn't reached our shores yet, Brian. It's almost like they haven't heard of it before. It's as if they can't see the brown summer skies that we saw last year, the choking air that I had to close my fucking windows for. I don't want to have to close my windows so I can breathe. It's like they don't give a shit. Fossil fuels are responsible for this. The science tells us that. Pretending burning them, <laughs> pretending burning them will ever cle be clean is delaying life-saving planet action. This is what they're doing. For me, you've crossed a line. You've crossed the line, and I will not be voting for you uh, this time, because until you can break your allegiance to the fossil fuel industry, you won't have my vote. It's going to happen eventually. You will break ties with the oil industry. The sooner it happens, the better chance you can look your children in the eye when they're adults and who are living in a post-climate world. The sooner you let go of the heavy clasp of the oil industry and let them sink away into the abyss, the sooner we can get on with saving millions of lives. But you are delaying this. You personally are delaying this by approving greenwashing. Every day you get up, you set out to normalize and delay the fossil fuel, you know, transition to clean. The lives of many people are in their hands. What would Tom Lee Douglas say, Brian? Well, I asked him. And this is what he said. The obtuse fellow from the Clean Energy Show is right, allowing greenwashing delays action that will save countless lives. I do not recognize the modern prairie NDP. Tommy Douglas wouldn't roll over at his grave. He'd leap out of it. He'd jump yes. right out. Tommy Douglas, the father of Medicare here in Canada and one of Saskatchewan's political heroes. If you can't take a stand against the fossil fuel industry lying in ads, what can you take a stand on? Prolonging the killing of millions of people is what greenwashing does. Have the courage to stand up to fossil fuels, because it's going to happen. Fossil fuels will decline, and you'll eventually let go of their grasp. So do it sooner than later. And educate your electorate. If they don't understand, educate them. Well, presumably they've made a calculation that they're going to get more votes by supporting fossil fuels than they will get by telling the truth, but as we've just discussed, they're losing your vote, they're losing my vote, and they're definitely losing the vote of uh, a lot of people around here. My son begged me not to do this. <laughs> he said, Dad, <laughs> the NDP is, a, is the lesser of two evils. I mean, imagine if this uh, right-wing party gets in again, who will they come out against? They came out against trans kids. What else will they do? Who else will they impress, oppress? And, you know, the NDP are up in the polls finally. Uh, I take full credit for that, for mocking the, uh, the Saskatchewan <laughs> party for, uh, for their stand on clean energy. I do what I can. But yeah, uh, yeah that's, that's, I can't not speak truth. That's, uh, that's how I feel. And uh, yeah, you can't f screw around with people's lives. This is serious stuff. This delays action. And you can't be a part of that.
Show. 